Today we are looking at 10 iconic fights from the combat sports world, starting with Ali versus Sonny Liston, number two, the rematch after Muhammad Ali stunned the world in defeating a very scary Sonny Liston. Ali used fantastic backwards movement, light on his feet to make Liston chase him down. Head movement, constant for Ali, never staying in place for too long. This punch has had one of the most iconic fight photos of all time and is known as the Phantom Punch because people did not believe as you move backwards that you could possibly knock somebody as tough as Sonny Liston to the canvas. Our next fight is McGregor versus Aldo. This was one that took the pay-per-view numbers of UFC to a new level. There was press conferences worldwide, which was unprecedented in the MMA world. And of course, anybody who's watched this fight before knows the outcome, the spectacular quick knockout that nobody was expecting, and just cast McGregor into super stardom. McGregor talked so much going into this fight. So many people did not believe he had what it takes to be a champion. And he just proved everybody wrong in 13 seconds. This fight between Tyson and Holyfield is known around the world because Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ear twice I believe in this fight and of course as we can see spectacular fight to begin with both guys really throwing hard punches getting after the big KO but as it turns out Tyson got frustrated and ended up going for the bite which just led to this fight being famous around the world. Hagler versus Hearns, also known as The War. This fight was only three rounds, but this is the opening, and these guys came out bombing right away. The whole fight is like this. If you have not watched any of the fights that are mentioned today in their entirety, you should definitely go and do that right after watching this. And a reminder to everybody out there, there are only two days left to get registered for my defense course, where we're gonna be focusing on so many elements of properly evading punches, catching kicks, defending knees. We're gonna have 20 plus pre-recorded videos and three live calls where you can come on and ask your questions, find out what it takes to have the defense of a pro world champion. Forrest Griffin versus Stefan Bonar. This fight was what threw the UFC to that next level. It's not technically the best fight, but the way these two guys just attacked each other relentlessly and the fact that it was the finale of a tough season, it just threw the UFC into the spotlight and exploded the sport. And interestingly, Stefan Bonar did not get the contract initially. It was only the winner, but then the fight was so good, Dana White came in and gave both these fighters contracts, which just again created extra excitement for the fight and the story. Morcao versus Masato, one of the biggest fights in the kickboxing world and one that made Bokao so famous. Even people 
Even people like Ronaldo from the football world, he, after watching this fight, became a fan of Bokao. We see kicks like we've never seen before in this fight. And Masato was the Japanese star for kickboxing. He had won the year previously, and then to come in and get shut out like this by this Muay Thai stylist was just incredible. Bokao did such a good job clenching and manhandling Masato that K1 changed the rules shortly after this fight. Diaz versus McGregor. McGregor had already achieved stardom after defeating Aldo, but then Diaz took this fight, I believe on three weeks notice. He was training for a triathlon, was in shape, but not necessarily fight shape. Everybody counted him out and he came in and scrapped and wore down McGregor bit by bit even though he took punishment in the process. This is a fight that will be remembered for such a long time. The Stockton slap, Diaz with his post-fight celebration, his post-fight victory with Joe Rogan on the mic, all of it iconic. This fight was something special. Rick Rufus, a star in North America, his opponent from Thailand, not really having the ability to use his full rule set, not throwing the elbows, not being able to engage the clench, but Rick Rufus not knowing, surprisingly, how to check a low kick. see his hand dropping to defend the thigh but the stellar boxing paid dividends really early for him knocking his tie opponent down once and then twice but this fight just displayed how tough the Muay Thai fighters are and as he continues to get after that leg and withstand the punches we see Rick Rufus fade more and more There was some controversy in this fight right there. We saw an illegal elbow on his way down, not allowed, had points deducted in that moment. And then again right there, foot stomping, which was a three point penalty, but none of it mattered because he keeps after that thigh and eventually breaks down his American opponent. Mighty Mo versus Kaukalai Konor Singh. A fight that maybe not everybody in the world is super familiar with, but to me very iconic because it shows size difference does not always matter. Kaukalai Konor Singh, more like a 170 pound fighter, actually made it down to 154 to compete in K1 Max. And Mighty Mo from Hawaii, I believe, 
fighting at about, he's about 6'2", and weighing in over 230. An enormous size difference. Kaukalai staying on his toes, super evasive, fought Mighty Mo, Peter Arts, Hongman Choi, And this iconic kick right there, flying through the air, knocking Mighty Mo out, and being able to re-chamber his kick in the process. Shin pulls it back, with the thigh glazing over Mo's head. Ali versus Foreman. One of the most iconic fights in the world. Ali using the rope a dope, which in Rocky 3 was the way Rocky defeated Clubber, Clubber, Clubber Lang, taking punishment against the ropes to fatigue his opponent and then landing short, damaging, chopping shots in between. George Foreman getting after the body because he's having little success finding the head of Ali. George Foreman had been on a streak just demolishing everybody at the heavyweight class and nobody thought that Ali had a chance. Brilliant strategy and just one of the most iconic fights of all time.